What's up guys? So I had another uh, decent day. Um, overall, made 756, uh, took 22 tickets and uh, 3935 in commission. So I only played one stock. There weren't many on my watch list. Um, I had ARQL, uh, STM, and then this one, Fiber, F-E-R-R. -R. Um, I think this is a new IPO or something because I couldn't find anything um, beyond one day. So this is a daily level. Um, it, it's actually sitting right on this this line here. Um, this is an SMA here, but um, I don't know how meaningful that is if it's one day. So um, what I saw here was that it's sort of uh, trending downwards on the uh, 15 minute. Um, so it went up, hit this level, and then it just started to peter down. Uh, same with the um, EMAs. It looked like it was going to cross the... Um, see right here? It looks like it was going to cross the um, SMA here. So what I did was I became short bias on this. I, it, it wasn't that reliable on the daily chart, so I looked at the 15 minutes, sort of the guiding principle. Um, what I did in the opening 5 minute um, was as it's sort of trending downwards, it made this um, uh, sort of retracement back up um, and it's between these two channels it's on the upper end of this channel this two channel of uh, the SMAs here um, so I initially took some small sizes it's probably clear on the one minute it took some small sizes here um, thinking it would go towards low of the day it didn't it popped up so I kind of watched it to see what happens and it looked like um, you know when it does do when it hits around the um, SMA level the, the level of uh, support even when it's trending downwards it usually does a retracement back up so I added positions incrementally as it uh, sort of did that retracement um, and I did get a little nervous again when it uh, went up to 44.27 um, was ready to uh, take a loss if it continues to trend upwards um, but it did uh, and then it started to uh, go in, in my favor so I started to scale out here so I, I made a costly mistake that cost me um, 343 bucks is I accidentally hit the reverse button so I actually over I do this like a few times every now and then which is kind of crazy is then I over uh, covered so I had extra uh, shells left over so then I quickly hit um, the uh, sell button and then I oversold but fortunately it went my way and then I covered back the final positions here so it kind of lit up a bit here this is I, I don't know what it is this is just crazy otherwise I could have made you know thousand uh, dollars instead of 756 so uh, but that's uh, that's my trade for the day. Um, it's it's respectable. Um, I think in retrospect, probably should have covered get out here um, and then bought in here. I, this is this is good trading here, or a bought in here because I ne you never know. It bounced up. It was looks like it was heading. So I don't regret these and these here. Uh, maybe because I took very small sizes. I think a couple hundred shares here. You should probably have should have exited maybe around this level maybe where I bought here I should have exited and, and watched it a bit um, but either way uh, it wasn't too bad I was down a couple hundred bucks here I think maybe like six or seven hundred at that, about this level when I uh, add in the shares um, so but anyway that's my uh, my trade for the day